Hey guys, I'm Andy. Today I'm gonna to show you a real easy way to record your screen on a PC with an easy to use application that you probably already have. If you're new to my channel, welcome, I'm Andy. I like talking all things tech. If you have an idea of a topic you'd like me to hear me cover, please drop me a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. So with that, let's hop over to the PC. All right, so here we are on the PC. <clears throat> um, hopefully nobody's surprised by this. I do do most of my work on a Mac. However, um, I am a PC user also, so I, this seemed like a relevant topic to bring to you guys. So hopefully you find this useful. Okay, well in this current state of pandemic, we're probably doing a lot of remote work and sharing content with our coworkers, friends, family, uh, and maybe even on social media. So if you like doing that and need to find a way to record your screen, this is gonna be really simple for you to do. Uh, Zoom, which has been one of the most common virtual meeting platforms out there. You can see I already have it open here. It's free to sign up, so if you have not done so, hop over to Zoom's website, sign up for free, download the application, and then jump right in. So, after you do all that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a new meeting. So I'll start a new meeting here. Okay, then you're going to be presented with all the typical information you would use to share to the people you're going to invite to your meeting. We're not inviting anybody, nobody's invited. We're just recording today. So <clears throat> first thing we need to do is select the content you want to record. So the way we do that is by sharing our screen, just like you would in any other Zoom meeting. So go ahead and share your screen. Now here, remember, you're either going to share a specific application window or your entire screen. So for this video, I'm just gonna share my Chrome browser. And I'll go ahead and proceed. Okay, so now you see, as I'm sharing my screen, the Zoom screen share toolbar has popped up on the top, and my Chrome window is now uh, surrounded by this green box to signify what I'm sharing. Okay, so we're not recording yet. There's another step. So again, as I mentioned, the Zoom screen share toolbar, which is shown at the top, there is all your standard functions up here. You just turn your video on if you want, show the participants and even annotate on what you're sharing. But then there's this more toolbar on the right, and this is where you'll find the record feature. And this is what we're gonna use. So let's just go ahead and do it. I'm gonna hit record. And now you can see in the screen sharing toolbar at the top in the green, you see a red record button flashing. Very subtle, but it's flashing. That's to show us that we are recording. So. What's cool about this is even if I was sharing my whole desktop, this sharing Zoom sharing toolbar would not be part of the recording. So this would not, you can see how some of the drop downs are gonna overlay my, my Chrome window. Don't worry about that. We won't see any of that in our recording. Okay, so I'm recording, so let's just do stuff. Um, oh, check this out. Here's one of my new YouTube channels that I wanted to show off. This is a, a media channel all about white noise to help you sleep, different nature sounds, and even some inspirational, motivational videos to start the day. Great, that's awesome. How about checking out these annotate feature? So this is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna select draw. I'm gonna say, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe over here. Okay, cool. And how about, I'll do a stamp. Say, check out this video, and this video, and this one, and this one, and this one. Cool. Okay, so I'm all done recording. I'm gonna hit Alt-R, or I'm just gonna hit Stop Recording. Now at that point, our recording is complete. <clears throat> and we can stop sharing and end the meeting now if we'd like. There's nobody in it anyway. So we'll say goodbye to those people that aren't even there. Goodbye. And there we go. Now, once you end your meeting, oh, this popped up on your screen, you'll see Zoom starts converting the meeting for you. So um, don't cancel out of this, you're gonna need this to happen so you can use the video footage. So this only takes a minute based off of your computer and the length of the recording. There we go, it's already done. 
in, in a real nice touch, Zoom even opens up an Explorer window to show you where the video file is. So here it is, zoom underscore zero dot mp4. The mp4 file is the video. Um, let's just check it out. So there we go, it's playing. Let's unmute this. You can hear that, it even recorded my audio, so you even have that ability there. Okay, so I'm just gonna mute that. And we'll speed it up here. Okay, so there's, notice there's no share toolbar up top there, as I mentioned. We did annotate, so let's see how that looked in this video. I'm about to annotate. There we go. So subscribe to my channel here. Cool. And then star on this video, this video, this video, and this video. Great. So there you go. Screen is recorded. Now I could, I'm just gonna close that window. Now I had some before. Now I can take this and put it in any video editor I want to edit the video or, or just share it however I please. Okay guys, so that's how easy it is to record your screen on a PC using Zoom. I hope you all found that useful. If you have some questions, be sure to drop those in the comments down below for me. Um, and let me know if you liked the video by hitting the like button. I'm sure you're all wondering, how did I capture my screen while showing how to capture my screen on a PC? And I'm happy to answer that question in a future video where I'm going to show you another way free and easy to record your screen on a PC. So look out for that. Also, if you're interested in how to edit a video on your PC, easy and free, I'm gonna bring another video shortly uh, to show you how to do that as well. So thanks again, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.